It can get really dark out here on the homestead at night. So I picked up a 150 watt, 19.5 thousand lumen commercial parking light. I plan to hang it up over here on the shop. That way it should actually light up in the shop a little bit because of the window. And then I can light up the homestead. So if some of the animals are having kids or, or there's anything I need to work on out here in the middle of the night, I'll be able to come out here and it'll be darn near as light as it is right now. Wow. You can see everything. If you want to save 10% off of a parking lamp like this, check out the links below and I'll tell you more about that in a little while. Your parking lot light should come with three components. The light itself, the attachment bracket, and a bolt. So you've got your bracket here. You've got the light. There are angles on the side of the bracket. So you can, if you get several of these, you can line them up to be identical and the wiring slides through the bracket through the piece here you would put it to the angle you want secure the bolt and then attach it to a post or whatnot and the maximum size on this is 2.38 inches so you should be able to put a standard two inch pipe in here pretty easily the only piece of plastic it looks like is the led assembly itself Everything else is cast aluminum. So this is definitely a commercial grade parking lamp. Of course you have your standard wires to wire up the light. And there's also the additional wires to attach a dimming switch if you would like to. Underneath the plate here, you can see a dusk to dawn sensor that has a rubber cap over it. If you remove this rubber cap, then it will activate the sensor. So when nightfall comes, the light lights up and otherwise it's off. By leaving the plug in, you can just attach it to a switch like I'm going to do. And if I need the light, I'll just flip the switch. It'll light the area up. There's also another access port to adjust the setting from 150 watts, I believe down to 100. It's from 150 watts down to 75. And we'll see. I mean, do I really need it to be full blast? I don't know. We'll see. 150 with with 19.5K might be really bright. So we'll, uh, we'll take a look at that. Here's a closer look. This is for the photo sensor. So you would simply remove this plug and that would activate, activate the dusk till dawn sensor. And then you can use a Phillips to adjust the power setting. So I used a Phillips head to remove the cap, and inside there's a switch. It's automatically set to 150, so you could go to the middle for 100 or far left for 75. Here's a closer look at the rubber gasket, and the screw that covers the photo sensor is transparent. So you don't need to remove that. It will be activated through that screw. I hardwired in the light outside of the shop here, and we'll come back later tonight and see how much it lights the area up. It's dusk right now. The sun is almost completed setting. This is the side of the shop where the light is mounted, right in the middle. And I've got these little security lights that aren't too bright. Uh, that's the way I like those for just if I need to, you know, see where I'm going. But we're gonna test this this big lamp and see how much of the homestead over here that it'll light up. So I've got the hoop house there, a trailer, the the goat gate out here, or the goat pen and the pig pen. I'm inside the shop right now, and the first thing I notice is it lights the shower up real nice, and and you can see some light coming into the shop from outside. I can already see that out here is more lit up. And oh my God, look how, wow guys, look at this. If I ever had my vehicle breakdown or something, I could just set up right here, no problem. The whole, <laughs> the whole homestead is just lit up. Look, I can see the goats <coughs> and all the way into the shed. This is the shed behind. I can see everything in here pretty good too. Wow, that's outstanding.
Wow. Can you guys believe that? It just lit up. Wow. You can see everything. So really great light. Highly suggest it. If you want to get one of these, there's 10% off. Just go to the links down below. And if you're interested in more videos about my homestead, you can subscribe. And I'll leave a couple links down below for my website and books that I've written about the homestead.